So you were carrying it all along. The fate's jest. <sighs> Tell these fates of yours to leave me out. Keep quiet! There was nothing else that I could do. You know that. Oh, I understand. Honor, duty, and all that. I still can't believe that was I a say coincidence. keep quiet! <laughs> <laughs> Marquis has been busy. Not lightly did I beg his aid. Listen, it has been a full two years. I alone have kept Her Majesty safely hidden. I doubted friend and foe alike. I could trust nobody. You did your duty, and mine for me. I'm getting her out. I need your help. Of course. Yes, of course I will. God damn, look at that sword. Holy shit. This dude is fucking decked out. That is one badass sword. Um, hey everyone, I'm Pink Flick here. Welcome back to the year Final Fantasy with Final Fantasy 12. God damn, Vossler. You are fucking badass looking in that armor. I mean, Bothier is snazzy as fuck. He has class. And then Vaughn is, well, Vaughn. And then Bosch is like, eh, hey, well, fuck it, man. God damn, I really like the design here. <laughs> It, it's good. It's good. Anyways, I bought all the shit I need to. Um, that's about it. I kind of called it with all them cutscenes. Honestly, surprised myself. I didn't think it'd be that long, though. I thought it'd be like five minutes. Wait. A word of caution before we set out. See that red web of light spanning the passageway? It is a mechanism to detect intruders within the ship. Break one of those beams and an alarm will sound, summoning the guard. The alarm should cease after a time, but it's better to avoid drawing unnecessary attention. Come, Her Majesty awaits. Anyone else tempted? Like, just to do so? Because I'm kind of tempted. Oh boy, that is a big map. I mean, it's close. I could probably get there really quick if I just flee, but... Look at all that treasure. Well, I assume there's treasure here. And no doors. Okay. Fair enough. Alright, let's see. Oh, I can't control them. That's right. No, 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 no. No. Yeah. God damn, okay. It's gonna be like that, huh, game? Alright. But before I move on... Alright, I bought charge. I checked some other stuff out, and they fucking suck, the other techniques. Or techniques. Techniques, let's go with techniques, right? They just spelled differently. Pretty sure you're supposed to pronounce them the same way. But all in all, I think I know what I'm doing. But... For one thing, this place is called... I think it's this place, maybe we chain ship, I don't know. But it's called the Dreadnought Leviathan. And for those who don't remember, the Dreadnought is the airship in Final Fantasy 2. I bring this shit up... Not because I like Final Fantasy 2. Or... Because of the name. But... I think... I was looking at the license board for a long while now. Like, looking at it, experimenting to see where things are going to develop, things I can buy, how I'm limited, and... I think, like, Final Fantasy 2, Black Magic is going to be shit. The only upside is I don't have to level it up, but here's the thing, I'm doing fine with just auto attacks, and it costs a little bit of license points just to upgrade weapons and armors in comparison to spells. But, with that said, there's a fuck ton of green magics and arcane magics and that shit just popped up out of nowhere because they got a treasure chest, isn't it? That's fine, I guess. I'm clearing the room regardless, so... Ain't no biggie for me. Let's 
So here's the thing. I'm gonna double down on the black magic. Cause it might be useful. I might stop as soon as I hit the arrows, maybe. Or or I might might go a little bit headlong into the Augus. Cause I kinda do wanna see flare. Speaking of which, what well, level, not level, but do you have enough LP now? Yes, you do. Perfect. Remember I was talking about gear and magic? Well, yeah. Also, I found a killer blow along the way in that mine in an item. I guess I missed that on it, so. Got a killer blow now. And the staff, uh, not that great. I'd rather have him stick in the background. Also, it's a huge upgrade in damage, so. Yeah. And I bought something from the bazaar to get the parallel arrows, which is one extra attack power, but hey, whatever. I would rather him use the ammo or the gun that inflicts sleep, but eh, more damage is nice right now. And I gotta finish learning this with um, Boshk because, all right, I gotta charge. Charge seems really useful because I read into it a little bit more and it turns out, well, with the uh, gambit I got now, I need 10 more, 9 more LP. I can benefit more from it. So for now, let's uh do this. It should be a self MP, right? I guess there isn't. Fuck. All right, I'm gonna have to do it manually. Thought I had one. But charge, what it does is it restores a lot of your MP, and it's gonna be useful for Vaughn. But I'm gonna have to have him do it manually. So let's do it right now. It's a gamble. And first, it only works when they're in critical health, which is apparently 20% HP, so... Alright, I didn't teach you charge. Alright, I didn't teach you charge. Well, there you go. I mostly got it for both Thier and Vaughn. But Bosch can use it as well, since he's gonna be start healing as well. I got him Cure. Eventually, he's, everyone's gonna learn Haste, but that's gonna take a while. I assume, because I went pretty far in the uh, time magic. I assume Haste is, like, right here. That's why it costs like 105. It's one of these because the farthest I went is right here. So if haste didn't pop up and that was like the time magic line or grid, whatever. I mean, it has to be there, right? Also kind of called it with the uh, Lamont being relative to vain, but that's kind of a given, I suppose. I hope you guys have something because... Yeah. Also, I looked it up. Capture shit. It's like... Not capture. Poach, which does capture, which is morph. It's shit, man. So I wasted 30 LP learning that. Also, I got a lot of time magic, but I need to have Vaughn learn it. Actually, now that I think about it, do you know it yet? Because I got dark as well. I think you have dark. Yeah, you got... No, you don't have dark. You're close to it, though. Alright. Want to see if they're gonna heal me or not. Because the gambits are a little bit finicky with me. See, I'll not less than 70% HP, cast cure. He probably doesn't have enough MP. The same should be with him and its priority, but why aren't they doing this? What I want to know. Oh, they both don't have MP. Okay. Fair enough. I really wish whoever was leading would be at the top. It's easier for my mind to process everything, but... You know, what can you do? Fuck, now that I realize it... I believe there are items over there behind the laser doors, but... Fuck it, I'm gonna go check. Be right back. Yeah, there was nothing there. I guess I was just being a bit paranoid, because I'm like... 
If I missed a killer bow in one dungeon, could have missed like a nice spear or sword. So that's how it looks like when you attack twice. Pretty cool. I'm really liking Ball Theodore, man. Hmm. Can I go over there? Or is it just supposed to be upstairs? Yeah, I'm supposed to go that way. But I can also go on to the other side, which I want to do. So going down there would be the right way. But I want to go the wrong way. First, at least. Here's the benefit for those who aren't in the know with uh, my Let's Plays. If I've already explored the area, say I explore all this shit right here, this whole one red highlighted map. If I explored it already, and the map wants me to go back to, let's say, I don't know, this spot right here in the corner, I'm just gonna warp us there through editing. You don't have to see it again. You don't mean you don't need to. You already saw me go through it once. Why should I bother, right? And for those who already are in the know, well, you're welcome again, even though you didn't ask for it. Cause there's something Jenkins. I forgot his name, man. Fucking do sex me. Anyways, go ahead and cast Leaper yourself again because I want to make sure we don't run out of it. Nothing nice to steal yet. I mean, there should be a nice item near the very edge, but... I'm thinking these two corners right here are where the nice items are at. Kinda wish the map was more of an overlay more than a whole different menu, or I guess... Like, instead of it loading, but, I mean, I can see why it kind of has to, considering this game's really fucking huge, but still, you know? I know it could have been done, but at the same time, why am I complaining? It's an old game. Ah, eh, fuck it. I see no enemies anyways. I want some action. I saw the items, don't worry about it, I'm just gonna kill him first. I like how I can stagger him, too. That's it. Back up, back up, Vaughn, back up. There we go. I got more annoyed by the sound than, well, the constant stream of enemies. And let's just finally check this out. I had enough LP to do it, and I figure why not, but actually they're dying really quick, so that'd be a waste. But miss, they're kind of like limit breaks, I guess. So, or they're called quickenings, I suppose, but I guess that's kind of like limit breaks. It's a very interesting system, I gotta say. Kind of curious to see how it's gonna work out. Even though I kind of know how it does, but I've never tried it firsthand, and that's the only difference. And that could be a major difference, for all I know. Because of how the uh, map loads, I'm a little paranoid I'm missing out on something, but I suppose I'm not. There has to be an item around there, man. I'm gonna get a lot of chain because these are all the same enemies here. And I feel like I'm overleveled. Alright, that should be enough LP, by the way. Because I did buy the sword and I don't want it to go to waste. I think you have enough recharge now. No, you don't. Uh, let's go with first aid. Maybe Libra later on? I don't think I'm going to keep Vaughn that long, but I do want him to have charge. Uh, if he had charge, that would be a perfect time to use it right now. Let 
There's an item. All right. Come on, guys. I guess they're not coming. There we go. I have no idea what I was doing. Shuffle, shuffle, what, what? That's too much damage. But it did eat all my MP, so. Not bad. It's not a huge heal, but it's something. Maybe it's our percentage based uh, MP recharge, so. Can I do it all the time, or is it based on how much MP I have? Okay. So it's, uh, ranked as well. I did too much damage though, man. Like, god damn. Oh, I guess I had to go here. I am looking out just by sidetracking. Or maybe not. I mean, I could have gone down there, which would have made me go all the way around. Huh. We lucked out. No. No, 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 no. Come back. Come back. Come back. Fuck your gambit, man. All right, how am I going to do this? He's really close. It's going to be a big fight. Okay. I mean, if I get enough MP, I can do it. I don't know why I'm not regenerating anymore. I could do a gamble and use charge. Eh, fuck it. Let's go ham. I do have blinded, don't I? Yes, I do. It's kind of hard to remember who learned what. I wonder, is it an AoE attack, or is it just a singular strike? Is it supposed to take all my MP? I guess so. Yeah, this guy's blocking a lot of things. I wish I had a useful gambits by now. I only have ones that cure sleep, but I don't have the spells that cure that, so it's like. Uh. I don't know. I mean, I have spells that can help me out, I just don't have the gambits for it, so it kind of makes. Damn, that's a nice looking bow. Holy shit. That's a killer bow. In Fire Emblem, they're criticals, but here it's just a bow. Wasn't really that useful in tactics from what I recall. Like, it did add damage to it, but not that much. That other dude ran away pretty fucking far. Just like that one song, I think it was called The Song. And I ran from tactics. There's gotta be items over here. Bring it, motherfuckers. Come on. I was hoping it'd be at least 45, man. Oof. 
Oof. Pain. Pain, 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 pain. Yeah, douchebug. Got MP. How? Well, actually, I know how, but it's kind of a downside. But it could be because of how he set the gambits. That might do it, I suppose. Maybe he was just attacking everyone that was 100% with Thunder, instead of just the one. If I was targeting them, then in... Instead of, if I was targeting them and they happened to be 100%, then he'd cast Thunder. I'm hoping that's how it would work out. So now that I said it that way in the Gambit, I'm hoping, again, that's how it works out. I want to see if this will work out. Since it's not self. Well, I do have self self, but I wanted to set it so that it's at a certain percentage instead of him doing all that time. He's not really considered an ally. He's himself and there's a target self, but I doubt it'll work, but I need to just check real quick to confirm. Oh, I don't have it here. Oh, he don't have it. No, he... Yeah, it has to be self. So that's the only way I can do it if it's uh, self. So that kind of sucks. I'm gonna have to do it manually. Motherfucker! Yeah, at least it went through. No items, though. Why do you suppose that is? Huh. How am I blocking? I have no shield, shouldn't I be parrying? Man, I wasted time. Alright, I'll see you at the next door. Fear not their numbers. Take down the leaders and the others will follow. Well... We're actually fighting judges, holy shit. Everyone waited, he's like, all right, he's gonna do it, hold on. Oh, okay, if I have more than one quickening, I can use it again and again. Okay, fair enough. That better kill a judge, but I should have stole from him first. Ah, fuck. Fuck, 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 what am I doing?
That was easy. That was a little too easy, honestly. Maybe it was because I had a... Uh, the quickening, so... I mean, that could have been it, right? I guess I was supposed to kill these guys first before I went to the... Uh... Oh, never mind. It's right there. That would be a perfect time to heal. Alright, I'll see you in the next room. I'm just gonna... Heal everything up. Well, I feel silly. There was a save point right here. And I did nothing but charge and healing and all that fun stuff and... There you go. Also, there's an item shop here. So shit's about to get real. You have nothing good. You goddamn Moogle, you adorable Moogle. Those trips didn't even drop anything. Maybe, actually, now that I think about it, I could use some echo screens. If you have any. Oh, you can buy. Oh, you're all the shops. Okay, yeah, okay. Forgot to buy that. There we go. I need echo screens though. Or echo herbs, whatever. Pretty broke, so I'll just take whatever I can get right now. Silence will really fuck me over. I really like how the door opens though. Kinda neat. You are unharmed? Vossler, I... Uh... <clears throat> Majesty. It's nothing. I'll be fine. <gasps> you... Come on, come on, let's go. What are you waiting for? Pinello's still out there. We should hurry. They won't be long. We will talk later. Did you see how her legs were? Just goes to show you how lazy some developers can be when they're doing their cutscenes. They're like, well, we're not really gonna show that part off, so we're just gonna crop it out. No need for me to make her legs look fine and all that shit. Majesty, we will cut to your path. I will not place my trust in the sword of a traitor. Yet yeah, trust his sword we must, traitor or no. I see no other way. We track back. Commandeer a ship and make our escape. <sighs> her Majesty cannot abide weakness, least of all in herself. We must make her confront the reality of our plight. Vaughn! <sighs> it's okay. We're okay. Geese knows you've escaped. You must hurry. You are Captain Azalus. You will follow me. We must reach the airships before they do. You would let us leave knowing who we are. Lady Ash, by all rights you ought not even to exist. That you and Captain Ronsenberg were made to appear dead is like a hidden thread laid bare. Your actions hereafter will pull at that thread and we will see what it unravels. This is our chance. We must see this through and get to the bottom of it. 
I believe tis for the good of Dalmasca and the good of the Empire. Very well, then. Thanks, Lamont. Uh, I must apologize. Hmm. Penelo, for you. May it bring you good fortune. Thanks. Let us go. Why are all these items spawning during cutscenes? Why am I being teased? What did I do to you guys? Anyways, you didn't miss much. It was just nothing but a gauntlet of running all the way back from where I left off, which is not that far, honestly. But I saw another item during that cutscene. It's when Lamont was speaking. And it was over here, I believe. And I want it. I want that item. Game, don't do this to me. I saw it. This alarm is annoying as fuck as well. Thank you. See, all you gotta do is complain a little bit and you get what you want. That's the American way. Anyways, this alarm is annoying, so I'll just skip to the next cutscene. Such a great shame. I must confess, I thought you the one who would help us restore peace to Dalmasca. No matter, we hold the proof of your royal lineage. A maid of passing resemblance will serve our purposes now. As for you, my dear, the Empire requires you no more! What was that? The Nethersite. <sighs> your Majesty does not disappoint. Ever quick to spurn an honorable surrender, as was your father. You know nothing of my father! Goddamn, just like that, we're gonna be fighting a judge. I honestly did not expect it, but then again, Judge Goose here is gonna probably be a dick to kill. Alright, might as well use it up real quick. Out there being like, I'm just gonna wait for him to die before I do this. Secure an Atomos. Come. An Atomos? All skiff, no ship. Hardly fit for a leading man. So I can fly it then? You're mad. Oh. Can't we go faster? Not yet. gone too fast that have noticed <sighs> Balthier, your handkerchief I thought you might want it back I shall wear it close to my heart. Perhaps you forget all that Ondor has wrought. I do not forget, Majesty. It was by his counsel, dangerous though it may have been, that we were able to free you. 
You must meet with him, your highness, and give ear to his words. He may act in league with the Empire, but his heart is not. It is as he says. I ought not have kept Ondor at so great a distance for so long a time. I have played the fool. You were only being cautious. Majesty, I would ask you for some time. On our own, we struggle in vain to restore Dalmasca. I must search out some other way. Until I should find it, I would have Bash remain at your side. Doubt him you may. But I measure his loyalty to Dalmasca no less than my own. I know you would not speak so lightly. Very well. Keep her well. Go to Ondor and there await my return. My god, the pacing for this game is remarkable. And I can teleport again. So, I defeated the Judge, Goose. I got Ash Pinello. And I've gone with Teen Man for a while. Fran is underleveled as well. Hmm. Anyways, let's look at Ash and her LP. I don't know why Pinello has so much though. But then again, she's learned a lot less. I'm gonna guess you're gonna use bows and maces. I forgot what you use in the uh, sewers. Apparent swords. I just kept on talking because I had to finish my sentence. Anyways. I have no idea how I'm gonna make you girls. But now would be a good time for me to dump Vaughn and make a support mage with time magic, which was kind of what I was doing with Vaughn, sort of. Might do that with everybody. This motherfucker's quickening is destructive. Maybe it's not just Balthiers, but quickens in general. I have no idea where the exit is. Okay. That's not helping. I guess it was this way. Kinda already forgot, since, well... Kinda boarded Bujerba in the last part, I believe. Was it? The last part? Eh, I forget. I'm more... Enticed with what's going on right now. The direction for this game is weird, though. There's a lot of self-implications already... Manifested, so it can speed up the pacing of the game, which is good, but it does sacrifice some... I guess... Critical moments. I'm pretty sure those who've played this game before or who are watching now might know what I mean, but what I'm trying to get at is... For the sake of how quick they're speeding this game up, they're actually leaving a lot out and... or are leaving it really... short-spoken. But I think I got the whole party for the game here. Or I'm missing one more person, maybe. I'm trying to think of the box art right now. That shitty American box art. Not the steel book cover one. That one's that one's cool. I'm trying to think of the uh, stupid one. I think that is everybody. It's a shame Amugo doesn't join your party though. Haha, <laughs> that's hilarious. An NPC doing a handstand? My god, the PS2 has gone too far. Honestly, I have no idea what to do. I can continue the plot. I know there's going to be more cutscenes, but I need to visit this residence here because I have not yet. Why do they have a name? The Starus residence, that is. Why are they so important? Oh, they're Moogles, I think. Huh. Are they a... Uh, interracial? Interspecial? Couple? That'd be interesting. Side quest? Side quest? Uh, subtle side quest, I suppose. I kind of want to go see Mont Blanc real quick, but I want to play a little bit more because I know the rewards are nice and all, but all in all, 
I want to keep playing because this game is really fun. It just is. And to be fair, I think I've kind of fucked up Vaughn. A little bit of Gambit slots. I'm kind of feeling reluctant on working on magic. Because he was doing quite a bit of damage with the killer bow. His magic was on par. And there's like a global cooldown, I suppose, on magic. So his auto attack would be a lot better. Oh, goddamn. Raise Kira. I still need to buy a... Uh, ooh, oil. Maybe. Maybe. I still need to buy a... Uh, what was it called? Break, yeah. I think it might help out. Like I said in Final Fantasy 2, stuff like that does help out. Definitely gonna want Rezo. I got nothing in that ship, so I'm gonna have to earn some stuff. So now would be a good time for me to do some side quests. And play off screen. Or do a side part. A side part that doesn't consists of nothing but cutscenes, I suppose. But if more magic is opened up, maybe some weapons have opened up as well. I know the armor did it, but maybe they're not synonymous. The same could be said for Gambits. Yeah, there's no new weapons, just magic, I suppose. So with that said, let's just continue the plot. When Vostler learned my father had been killed the night of the treaty signing, he returned to Ravenaster, there to aid my escape. There was still time before Vane's reach extended too far. We thought that you could protect me. However, when I then made the announcement that you had taken your own life, I must have seemed a model citizen of the Empire. The announcement, you see, was Vane's suggestion. Of course, at the time I was reluctant, but I could not perceive his reasons. Now it is clear he meant to drive a wedge between us. Halim, we are past all this. Bujerba must stand with us. We can stop Bane. <sighs> I once knew a girl whose only wish was to be carried in her uncle's arms. Your Majesty is a woman grown now. Then Bushirba will aid me. Suppose for a moment you were to defeat Vane. What then? You cannot simply rebuild your kingdom with the only proof of your birthright stolen. Without that, the Grand Kiltia San Boomises cannot and will not recognize your Majesty as the rightful heir. You may yet be a princess, but without proof of your identity, you are powerless. You will remain with me. We do nothing till the time is right. I cannot just wait. Then what does your majesty propose we do? Uh, Uncle Halim. Incidentally, what is the going rate for rescuing princesses these days? Food would be a start. The good stuff, mind you. This can be arranged, though it will take some time. Time enough for a bath, I hope. Dirty business, you know. Ah, best bring a change of clothes, too. What are you doing? This is Balthier's ship. I'm going to retrieve the Dawn Shard. It's the proof that I need. I know where it's hidden. I'll return his airship later. Are you crazy? This is something that I have to do. Not only for myself, but for all those who have fallen. I will not be made to hide. I'll fight alone if I must. You still have Bosch, right? Besides, you can't just go around stealing people's ships. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to concentrate. That's quite enough, Your Majesty. What do you think? A bit over the top. In my line of work, you never know when something like this might come in handy. 
I'm trying to concentrate. I'm leaving you with the Marquis. You can't! Trust me, you're better off staying here. Suppose you kidnapped me instead. You're a Sky Pirate, aren't you? Then steal me! Is that so much to ask? What do you have that I would want? The Dynast King's treasure. The Dawn Shard is but one of the riches that lie waiting in King Wraithwall's tomb. King Wraithwall, you say? Kidnapping royalty is a serious offense. It won't do much to lower the bounty on your head. How much is the price on your head these days, I wonder? Allow me to escort you in Vossla's place. Will you be joining us? What? Are you kidding? I don't want to stick around this place. Then I'm coming too. Canelo! Don't leave me here. <sighs> of course not. Then it's settled. We should leave before the Marquis realizes she's missing, like proper kidnappers. Dr. Sid, does this set Draclaw? I have confirmed he receives funds from Lord Vane. His agency in the fall of Nabudis is also certain. Yet, with Judge Zekt, who led the assault, missing, the truth remains difficult to ascertain. The long, cold years have clouded my eyes. I cannot see my own son's heart. <laughs> <coughs> My lord. This illness will claim me. So then, who is to be my successor? The Senate fears the capable Peregrine Vane. They prefer a young fledgling emperor. Gabranth. Once in the past, I laid siege to your homeland. The Republic of Landis is long since gone. My allegiance lies wholly with the Empire. Perhaps. But what of your brother? He did not accept us as you did. He fled to Dalmasca. Did you never think to follow him? I follow his every move. He is an enemy of the Empire. He will be cut down. So you would kill even your own brother for the Empire. Be that as it may, Gebranth. Your ruthlessness is not without merit. But it must not become this way with Larsa. You must ensure that it does not. So then you ask me to be his sword, to strike where he might not. Rather be his shield. Gabranth, keep your close watch on Vane. His is the keenest blade of all. My lord. Do this for me, Gabranth. I could not... I could not bear to see my sons... <laughs> war with each other again.
come in handy often? It's tough being popular. Wouldn't want any admirers dropping in while we're away. Well now, that's as far as she goes. We'll be in Yacht from here onwards. Across the Sand Sea, to the Valley of the Dead, and to King Wraithwall's tomb below. So when you're in Yacht, Sky Stones don't work at all. That's why we gotta hoof it the rest of the way, you see? Happy you get to teach me something for a change? Well, if you wanna be a Sky Pirate, you gotta know your... Hey, what do you mean for a change? Come on, At least we thought it. to bring I'm entertainment. Oh yeah? Says who? You wanna see what <sighs> they think about it? I wouldn't be so confident. I wonder if Ashisai was like... The people who didn't like Pinello and Vaughn, their response. As for me, I don't know how to feel about Vaughn. So, yeah. But, this would be a good point for me to stop progressing so quick and start with the sub quests or side quests. Huh. Elementals, you say? I should probably got water then instead of well then again. You never know. And yeah, the menu also says that Libra can spot traps, so another reason to always have Libra on. Oh, cool. Float. There, well, can I even buy float yet? That is kinda cool, it makes sense. There's an anchor, it's invisible, and the Moogle and why aren't you? That's a name from a game, I just can't remember where. That is a Final Fantasy name from somewhere. Or maybe it originates here and I'm not sure entirely. And let's just check the map. That's it, wow. Oh man, I'm gonna be making the rude jokes all this time. Hmm. So the only advice I've gotten so far is there is gonna be some sort of elementals, traps, and whatnot. Ooh, what are those zoos? No, oh, this must be rocks. Dive talent. Okay, they're red. Man, you said red means they're enemies who are gonna fucking destroy you. And yellow is like you can handle it, but you'll have some trouble. And blue means easy peasy lemon squeezy. Tweak against Earth? Really? Why? Oops. Yeah, I can't handle it. It's 27. It's double our level. So I'm not gonna fuck with it. But yeah, this is what I did with Vaughn. And he had a dagger on, so the ATB gauge would charge you a lot more quicker. Hey, it's a rogue tomato. I have no idea what it's called here though. An Alarune. So this isn't the Giza Plains or the uh the desert, I forget what it's called already. That blade's kind of nice, man. What is that? A slip? A slip near? I think I've seen those enemies before in Final Fantasy, I just can't remember where. They're definitely not from Evil Lisa. That is an adorable voice. Look at their face. Oh, they're like little bandits. Hmm. Let's see. I like how I'm working with Bothir and Bosch 
he's gonna make a nice paladin makes sense because he's supposed to defend ash and this is the whole board for the licensing so i do assume this is the final party three guys and three girls and no pizza place i think i have a chance with panella though the thing is i just hate how she looks her armor is disgusting i don't mind her having pigtails or twin tails or whatever you call it but that armor ugh. And her shoulder blades, or the armor for the shoulder blades, it's just, it's just weird. At least I'm not forced to take Vaughn throughout the whole game, though. That's kind of cool, in all honesty. Alright, so... Normally... I don't know. I mean, I know I'm going backwards, but... I am curious to see what else can I find around here. There's some Garudas there. Also, why would they make Garuda a green vegetable monster in... I think it was 14? Oh, it's an Earth Strix. My bad. But yeah, I mean, I've noticed this or known this for a while. It's just I never brought it up. Why did they make Garuda fine as fuck? This is what I'm trying to get at. Green ass vegetable monster. doing a lot of damage I mean it's probably nothing compared to what's gonna happen later on in the game but I don't know guns pierce defenses though so I might make both their range later on in the future because he already has some guns for them to go all blazing but I also want to show this off for those who aren't familiar with 12 like I am swiftness reduces action time by 10% which is really good because he's gonna be using Heavy weapons. I'm not going to give it to him right now, though, because I might give him something else. I should probably work on the board down here and get him another quickening. That'd be a little bit... Very overkill, actually. The techniques seem kind of useless, except charge. I don't know about first aid. I don't know if I've outgrown first aid, but I think it would have been good very early on. Instead of me using cure and potions the whole time. But I did fine, I suppose. Because I think once I get to Vega, or I guess Sirius... Is when I'm going to start using um, guns again with both the air. Because I think by that time I'm going to be fighting enemies with higher defenses. At least they should penetrate protect, I would assume. Or I would hope. Uh, these are the weaker ones. Never mind. Yeah, it's still asleep. That's one adorable enemy, though. Some of these enemies are fucking adorable, man. Holy shit! That is a cool animation. Let's help out the NPC. You weak fuck. I guess this is optional map that I could have explored early on in the game, but I chose not to. Also, I'm killing it because it's easy LP. I mean, he got like 60 LP last time, so... Might as well. There's gotta be more to this, I mean... Dude, imagine playing Crystal Chronicles. Four players, right? On a handheld. Damn, Reverend and Wing should have been that. It would have been Final Fantasy XII with its engine. Each character had their own screen, but they would explore together. And it would play like this. Yes, it's an MMO, but it would work. It would be simplified by the Crystal Chronicles formula, I suppose. But then again, people would be like, Nah, man, 12 was more intricate because of all the shit you could have built the licensing. I think it would have worked. I don't know. I should really play Final Fantasy 14 online. Or well, online, I don't even need to say online. Well, maybe it is part of the title, right? A Realm Reborn Online. Alright, they're gonna connect. I guess that's the way back? Where's the way back for Rabinasta, man? Oh, is that a... That shit sounded huge. I don't know if you can hear it, because I lower the audio a bit so you can hear me better. 
Well, not so much, but... Those are your footsteps? Holy shit, I thought it was a, like, dinosaur or something, but those are your footsteps. Wow. They're pretty heavy, dude. Huh. I kind of want to... I don't know, man. Like, the more and more I think about it, the more and more I feel that... I am going to be better off making... Okay, here's what I think. You should have one person you're going to control. You can balance them out however you want. I think that's what I'm going to do about the air. One person... This is just non-IZJS, by the way. Because I know in IZJS, you can have a lot of fun stuff. Like, you can fast forward inside the game. Which pretty much fast forwards how quick you walk, the attack actions and whatnot. Which makes replaying the game really fucking fun. But anyways. So one person you can control, balance them out or balance them out to your favor. One person that's good with buffs and gambits. And the other person, at least this is the way I see it, is going to be your berserker. I guess. Like, he's or she's going to be straight up just dishing damage. That way you can control two people more promptly. So you got your gambit mule and you got the one you can control and you got the other character. That's the way I see it, and that's the way I'm thinking of building it. I might take out Bosch, because I don't think anyone really matters here. It's just based on who's going to be in your party longer. And I have reason to believe Bothier is going to be in your party the longest, as well as maybe... Maybe... Why not Vaughn? So them two. But maybe Fran and maybe now Pinello. There's no way she can get kidnapped again. Ash, I'm still iffy about. But I think I'm going to start using Fran now. From here on out, it's going to be based on how you want them to look, I suppose. I really want to fight that. I'm just rambling right now, I know, I understand. I'm not making progress, but it's... It's worth it. I suppose. Alright, well I guess I'm not going to be able to find Rampant Naster. Which sucks, because this is what I'm going to be doing for the rest of the uh, remainder of, not this part, but the next part. Because I'm going to be doing nothing but side quests, people! So if you want to see that, you want to see me take on some hunts, kill some extra, um, I guess, somewhat boss-like enemies. Yeah, there you go. I think I had one already uh, initiated. I think it was called Dexterra, which is also... A normal Final Fantasy named monster. It's one of those wolf-like enemies. Now right, let's check out this map real quick because I'm making this part a little bit too long. Also, I need gill, so there's another reason I need to kill this stuff. I'm not really doing it for the experience. I'm doing it for the gill, which is another reason why I'm doing this subquest. Yeah, Vaughn's hitting pretty hard with that magic. I need the Aros now. Like, if I want him to stay as a caster, I need the Aros now. And there's no Aros. I only got fucking water and... I don't even have arrow yet. I don't have arrow yet. But now that I think about it, in Final Fantasy games, they kind of place arrow in a weird spot. The earliest you get is in 13. And it does provide to be somewhat of use. Yeah, man, that's weird. Why do you get arrow so late? I know water is like seldom used in Final Fantasy games, but still. Huh. Anyways, if you're watching this and not for just entertainment of watching me struggle and learn all this shit. And without spoiling it, I suppose, give me your input on what I can do. Um, By asking for input, I mean... Damn, there really is no way to say it without for you spoiling it for me, because you're gonna be like, well, you should just work on this, because you're gonna end up fighting a boss that's gonna be like this fucking tough, and you're gonna get your shit handed to you, because he's gonna make you shit your ass, and then he's gonna go like, here, you drop this. Anyways, new area, I assume.
Neat. Apparently, I went the uh, the wrong way, even further in. Okay, let's kill one thing. Just one thing. That is a scary as fuck looking flan. Use the no. Let's go, Blizzard. Yo, you hit really hard. Damn, you're tough, dude. All right, let's see what I'm dealing with here. Tweak against Earth. It's level 16. We're at this level range too. Just goes to show you I am pretty weak. All right. Let's get the fuck out of here cuz Bond's about to die. Well, I got ways to go. And it just goes to show that I do need to do some sub quests if I'm going to want to progress a little bit more smoother than stagger a bit. But hey, kind of completed this side of the map, which is kind of cool. I thought I really was going to go to Ravenester. Unless I am supposed to go here, then that's cool cuz they said go west, and I went east. But anyways, with that said, thanks for watching this part. Let's play Final Fantasy 12 with me, a part of the year Final Fantasy. Kid, thanks, bye.